I just noticed that I have never shown you guys an alternating telescoping series. So this is one for you. We have 1 half minus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 minus 1 over 20 and so on, so on, so on. And it's always a good idea to put this kind of things into a sigma notation, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have the series as n goes from 1 to infinity. And because it starts with a parsity term, let's use the factor negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power. Okay, everything on the top is just 1 now. Over, on the bottom we see that right here is 2, which is the same as 1 times 2. And the 6 is the same as 2 times 3. And this is the same as 3 times 4, and likewise 4 times 5, and so on, so on, so on. On the third term, for example, we see that we have 3 times the next term. If we want to get a formula for the nth term, we just have to have the n, and then multiply by the next term, which is n plus 1. Cool. So notice, if we don't really have this factor, then we know this is just a good old telescoping series. We can do partial fractions, and we can see a lot of cancellations, and we can be happy. But we do have that. Unfortunately, we are not going to see the cancellations like the ones that we used to, but this is still pretty cool. So check this out. We mentioned the partial fractions, right? We can still do partial fractions. We're just going to pretend that this is not here and do the partial fraction for that. So we are going to get the series as n go from 1 to infinity. We have negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power. For this, of course, put on parentheses, and we are going to have the first fraction with some number over n, and then the other one, some other number over n plus 1. To figure this out, we go back to the original and cover the same denominator, and n has to be 0, and you put 0 in here, 1 over 0 plus 1 is just 1. So here we have the number. To figure this out, we go back to the original, cover the same denominator, and n has to be negative 1, and we put it here. 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. Same thing, huh? Um, what do we do now? Well, I will have to tell you, we are pretty lucky this time because we can actually just distribute this inside and then separate them into two different series and then just compute them individually. And the reason that we can do that is because they both converge nicely. And we can actually figure out the value of them pretty nicely too. So that's why it's not so bad for this question. But anyway, let's just go ahead and distribute and then separate the sum. So the first one is going to be the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. This on the top now, which is negative 1 raised to the n minus 1 power over n. And then we are going to add this with the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Check this out. Negative 1 to this power times negative 1 to the first power. I'm going to add the exponents, so this becomes negative 1 raised to the nth power only. And then divided by n plus 1. Cool. I think it's easier if I show you guys expense version for this, then you'll realize what this is. Have a look. Plugging 1, we get positive 1 over 1, that's the first term. Plugging 2, we get negative 1 over 2, so you have minus 1 half. And then continue, next one is going to be plus 1 over 3, next one minus 1 over 4, and so on, so on, so on. Yes, this is the famous alternating harmonic series. And we know that this right here converges nicely to ln2. We can use the power series for ln of 1 plus x to figure that out. All right, how about the second one? Again, let me just kind of expand it for you guys. Plugging 1 now, we actually get negative first, and then we have 2 on the bottom, so we have negative 1 over 2. Next, plugging 2, we get positive 1 over 3, and then next, we get negative 1 over 4, and so on, so on, so on. Have a look. This right here, it's almost the same as that, right? Except for we are missing the 1. If we have the 1 right here, we can complete this, and we can make things into ln2. So that, why don't we just go ahead and just add a 1 right here? But of course, I cannot just add a 1 out of nowhere. It's okay, just minus 1 all the way at the end. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see now, all this right here will be ln2. And then of course, don't forget to minus the 1 right here all the way at the end. And of course, let's put on the plus sign. And as you can see, this right here gives us ln2, and then we have another ln2, and we are going to add them together, and in the end, we minus 1. So all in all, I'm just 
going to write down we have 2 ln 2 and then minus 1 and if you want to be fancy a little bit you can put a 2 to the exponent and say that's ln 4 but I'm going to leave that to you so this is pretty cool 